Hello everyone, my name is Greg and I dev stuff. Welcome everyone to episode 22 of Tactics Game in Unity, Victory Condition and Assorted Fixes. Today we want to introduce a way to win scenario. Select Game Manager and create another new component called Victory Condition Manager. This component will be responsible for tracking victory conditions for player and enemy. Let's begin by implementing simple victory condition for the player. Let's say we need to defeat all the enemy pawns on the field to win. Make a reference field for force container called enemy force, which will reference, well, enemy force container. Reference the enemy force in the editor. Good. Inside Victory Condition Manager, let's make a new method called Check Player Victory. Inside check player victory, we want to set up condition for victory, which for now will be simple defeat of all enemy. We have a list of all participants in the enemy force inside the force container, but this is stored just as a character turn component, and to check if the character defeated or not, we need to get the character component. Let's change our container a little. Let's introduce force member class, which will store reference to the character and character turn. Use it uh, in the force container to store references for each member of the force. Let's rename parameter into character turn to avoid confusion with character component. Fix the grand turn. Good. Now we can create a new method called check defeated, which return bull type.
where we will determine if this force has been defeated or not. Where we will cycle through every forced member and if at least one of them is not defeated, that means the entire force is not yet defeated. Good. Now in victory condition for player check if the enemy force has been defeated. If yes, post message into debug log. Now we need to call check player victory when enemy are getting defeated. To check if we completed the stage after defeating the enemy, we will do it from command manager. Enemy can be defeated only after getting attacked. So for now the best place to check for all enemy being defeated con victory condition is after attack command execution. After each attack command execution, we want to check the winning condition. To be able to do this, cache the victory condition manager. And then in attack command execution, call for check of victory condition. This is not very optimal. It is better to check only in case the target is dead. We will be optimizing game later on in the tutorial. Let's test this. Let's delete unnecessary enemies leaving only one and make him weak. Good. This episode is brought to you by generous support of people on Patreon and members on YouTube. If you want to join them, link to my Patreon in the description and join button available right now on YouTube. We have a problem. After attack, enemy object is getting selected. Inside select character create bool variable called is selected. When select something set it to be true and then in the select set it to be false instead of setting selected to be null. And inside the late update, if we have selected object and is selected set to be false, after the call to deselect, we want to set selected object to be null. This way we will prevent uh, select character to try to select the object on the same frame as, as we deselected the object. Good, that fixes the problem. After moving into the area, we can't immediately click on the spot and select the character without moving the mouse. I am right now clicking like StarCraft player 
and on the spot and nothing is happening. I need to move my mouse away and hover over the spot again to be able to select. This is happening because of our optimization inside select character. We only update the hover over object by our mouse when we move the mouse around. So let's move the check for moved mouse outside the hover over object detection method. And now inside the select character explicitly call hover over object to force our select object to check if there is something we are currently hovering over when you click to select something. This should fix the issue we are having. Good, it works now. Good, this is it for this episode. If you have any questions or any ideas about code, please leave your comment below. If you want to support further, link to my Patreon in the description. Special thank you to Ichmei and this old Hashdu. With best regards, see you in the next episode.